Saudi Arabia is transforming its horizon. Across the desert, a sci-fi skyline is emerging, each project pushing the limits of imagination and engineering. At the center stands one structure that challenges what we know about gravity, architecture and endurance. A skyscraper planned to rise two kilometers into the sky, designed to surpass the Burj Khalifa, overtake Jeddah Tower and aim for the tallest title in history. This is Rise Tower. When the Burj Khalifa opened in 2010, it represented a new level of human achievement. At 828 meters, it remains the tallest completed structure on Earth. In Saudi Arabia, a new race is underway. First came Jeddah Tower, long envisioned to reach one kilometer. Now Rise Tower aims much higher, setting a new benchmark if realized. The competition isn't only about record numbers, it's about leadership in architecture, technology and cultural influence. Dubai turned a skyline into an international brand. Saudi Arabia plans to take that vision further, creating something so vast that it becomes a landmark for the entire planet. When completed, Rise Tower would not just pass the Burj Khalifa in height, it would transform expectations for what a skyscraper can represent. Rise Tower represents the next frontier of human construction. Planned to reach around 2,000 meters, it would stand nearly twice as tall as the Burj Khalifa. Its upper levels would pierce cloud layers, creating a vertical world high above the desert. To picture its scale, imagine stacking six Eiffel Towers on top of each other, or placing the Burj Khalifa at roughly the halfway mark. This kind of project can't be approached through normal construction methods. Every inch must be designed, tested and proven before the first beam touches the ground. A structure like this cannot simply be built, it must be solved. Every super tall mega structure begins with one question. How can it stay standing? The higher a building climbs, the greater the forces it must endure. Wind speeds increase dramatically, turning air into an invisible hammer. Seismic vibrations travel upward through the foundations, and the dead load, the building's own weight, grows heavier with every added floor. Rise Tower will face all of these challenges multiplied several times over. To make it possible, engineers rely on the only thing powerful enough to fight physics – mathematics. Before construction begins, they run millions of simulations testing every scenario imaginable. They simulate desert storms, heat expansion, earthquakes and pressure differences between ground level and the upper atmosphere. These tests are conducted inside digital twins, virtual replicas that predict how the tower will perform for decades. Every vibration, every gust of wind, every micro-movement in the frame is measured. The results define the project, the placement of dampers, the thickness of steel and even the molecular composition of ultra-high-strength concrete in the core. Each calculation is checked, rechecked and verified in labs before any real material is poured. Through math and precision, engineers create balance between gravity, pressure and time, turning a two-kilometer vision into structural reality. Height alone doesn't make Rise Tower notable. It's what's happening inside. The building is envisioned as a self-contained city with transportation, schools, healthcare, parks and entertainment spaces stacked vertically from base to summit. Moving people across potentially several hundred floors demands an advanced mobility system. Concepts include lifts that travel straight up and down, others that move diagonally, and some that glide horizontally across sky bridges linking whole districts of the tower. The control logic borrows from air traffic style algorithms, coordinating thousands of passengers without bottlenecks. Because air pressure, oxygen levels and temperature vary greatly from bottom to top, climate systems would automatically adjust conditions throughout the building to keep environments comfortable and stable it's an urban ecosystem arranged in layers, a modern city stacked vertically toward the clouds. Rise Tower aligns with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, an effort to transform the nation into a global center for innovation, tourism and technology. Skyscrapers have long symbolized national progress. From New York's Empire State Building to Dubai's Burj Khalifa, each marked a turning point in its nation's rise. 
Saudi Arabia now aims to redefine what the modern city can be. The tower is positioned as the centerpiece of a new district with research centers, housing, and corporate headquarters. It's designed to attract global attention and demonstrate how architecture can shape an economy. In many ways, Rise Tower stands as a flagship of a new era in the Middle East, where ambition meets mathematics to create a new definition of skyline. At two kilometers, even the Earth's curvature affects design. Engineers account for Coriolis forces, atmospheric pressure gradients, and lightning frequency, all of which intensify with altitude. The exterior employs vortex shedding strategies that disrupt wind patterns and reduce oscillation. Deep within the core, tuned mass dampers, massive counterweights suspended by steel, move in opposition to the tower's sway, stabilizing it during high winds or tremors. Every structural element, from steel beams to glass panels, is tested for thermal expansion, load fatigue and long-term durability. Each component must perform under both desert heat and high-altitude chill. Through this precision, RISE Tower becomes a real-world physics experiment designed to endure the stresses of a new frontier in height. Behind Rise Tower's glass walls lies an invisible network of systems that make daily life possible. The building would consume millions of litres of water each day for drinking, sanitation, cooling and fire protection. Pumping water two kilometres up requires carefully staged pressure zones that move and recycle water through each vertical section. Hydrological modelling ensures constant flow, balanced pressure and minimal waste. Air circulation is another monumental challenge. At that altitude, the air becomes thinner and colder. Temperature differences between the base and the upper floors can reach extremes, so the building employs smart climate controls that adapt in real time time, distributing heat and airflow across thousands of vents. Electrical systems, waste management, and renewable power integration are woven directly into the design. Thousands of sensors feed data into a central control system, allowing instant responses to shifts in temperature, movement or power demand. The structure operates as a living network of machines and data, maintaining balance within a city that spans multiple layers of the atmosphere. To reach two kilometers into the sky, Rise Tower must anchor deep into the Earth. Its foundation is expected to extend dozens of meters underground, supported by reinforced concrete piles and steel columns that transfer weight into bedrock. Each support column carries extraordinary pressure. To handle this, engineers study soil layers, fault lines and underground water tables using geotechnical mapping. The base structure absorbs not only the tower's weight but also wind vibrations and minor seismic tremors. This foundation acts like a stabilizing force, part anchor, part shock absorber, keeping the building steady no matter what happens above. Construction involves thousands of workers, hundreds of cranes and coordination across multiple continents. Every stage, from material delivery to concrete curing, is timed and calculated. The ambition behind Rise Tower is unmatched, but the obstacles are enormous. Wind pressure increases exponentially at altitude. At two kilometers, gusts can generate enough lateral force to bend steel and twist glass panels. Engineers counter with aerodynamic forms that reduce drag and spread stress more evenly. Human comfort is another challenge. Living or working close to a mile above sea level can cause dizziness and oxygen fatigue. Interior systems manage oxygen levels and humidity across vertical zones to maintain comfort. Even the elevator paradigm must evolve. Cable-less multi-directional elevator systems, such as Tyson Krupp's Multi, exist as candidate technologies for ultra-tall concepts, enabling vertical and horizontal movement without traditional cables. Adoption for Rise Tower has not been confirmed, but the concept fits the scale and complexity of a building this tall. These solutions push modern engineering to its edge, but if they succeed, they'll redefine what future skyscrapers can achieve. Rise Tower represents human persistence at full scale. It's the product of experience, computation, and a relentless drive to reach higher. Behind the gleaming glass and bold geometry stands a community of engineers, mathematicians and builders working toward one goal, pushing civilization upward literally and figuratively.
When complete, Rise Tower would break every architectural record and reframe how cities can exist in vertical form. With enough knowledge, creativity and courage, the impossible can be measured, calculated and built. If you enjoyed exploring the vision and engineering behind the world's next record-setting skyscraper, subscribe, like the video and share it with someone who dreams big, because projects like Rise Tower show how far ambition can climb.